Hello amigo amigos and welcome to some more C9. Just checking out this beautiful scenery over here. Like I said this game looks absolutely fantastic amigos. Look at this. It's just brilliant. If you want a game that looks good guys, seriously come play some C9. Anyway, enough sightseeing. Today we're going to, well, for one thing, we're going to put on some better pants. So let's pick this up and equip these pants. There we go. So much better. Not really, but okie dokie. Does that look any better, guys? Anyway, uh, I guess it all helps. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get... Uh, rid of all this crap, so I'm gonna show you guys What you actually do with all this stuff that you earn from doing a run A run an instance whatever you want to call them. I used to play fantasy star, so we call them runs so just come to where all the shops are Which is this main area here pretty easy to get to that's where it is on the map. Just press M to get the map to come up. Pretty straightforward, like in most MMORPGs. Well, let's get rid of the map here. And let's go to Marty here, or really you can go to anyone. You could go to the weapon merchant, uh, well armor merchant. I think the weapon merchant is Moby. Yep. So let's go to Moby. Let's sell him our stuff. Uh, go to view shop. And then we can check out, obviously the red stuff is sort of things that we don't really, uh, we can't really use or we don't have a level for it or it's for another class or something. So you can either pick this up, drag it over here, click on it, it says would you like to sell it, so basically just say yes. Uh, certain things are obviously worth a lot more money, like that was just worth 4 coins, this is worth... Uh, okay, I thought it was more than that, but yeah. Must have been something else then that was worth more. Get rid of that. If not, just press the right mouse button and it will also do it automatically. That can make it a little bit easier for you. Just do that with that. There you go, ranking in some good cash. Weapons are normally always worth more. So there you go, that's basically what you do with all the junk amigos. You get the point. Right, the next thing we're going to do is use our tokens here. We get, uh, well they're actually called beads, but I like calling them tokens because of other games. But yeah, fine, beads. Uh, use our beads here, so just double click on the beads. And this will come up, just click yes. And you win prizes like money, skill stones, and I think you get other things like potions and stuff as well. Yep. Obviously different difficulties, you're more likely to get better stuff. You can also get artisan crystals from this. This is this is basically the same thing. These are like treasure chests that you find along the way. Again, these drop various items. If we're lucky, it will drop something. Nope, just money. But it does drop a lot of different stuff as well. Uh, to get rare stuff, I guess it's quite hard. But okay, we're just going to finish up here, amigos. And then we're going to try that boss again on Expert on the Goblin Altar without dying this time. So we see how that goes, and then we'll carry on to the next stage, wherever that will be. So I'll see you guys there. Hello amigo amigos, we're just out here, just literally outside the market where we just was. Sold all our stuff, and I've noticed that our weapon damage and 
armor damage is quite bad. As you see, it's where it says up there, main weapon durability. Indeed, it is at 48%. Uh, which isn't good, that means that our sword and shield and pants, yes pants, are getting quite damaged. In other words, when enemies hit us, it will actually cause more damage than usual, especially since it is already under the 50% mark uh, when the letters or the numbers turn red. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a blacksmith and basically he will repair all our weapons and armor for us and yes for a price. I know a lot of people don't like games that integrate this sort of thing into it but C9 isn't too bad with that and what I would recommend you guys is obviously to prevent this is simply don't die try not to die and play the game properly do you know what I mean don't just randomly use skills everywhere and hope for the best try and actually dodge and avoid enemies I know there is a lot of uh, how can I put it a, a lot of arguing I guess between players who just spam skills everywhere and, ha and don't particularly have any skills uh, or between those who actually sort of move more around the enemy and try to avoid getting hit more to those who just run in there drop all their skills and hope for the best if they die they die you know uh, you know a lot of people consider those people to kind of be more traditional MMO players who are used to probably you know typical point and click stuff or people who simply don't have a lot of patience so the best thing to do guys is to avoid paying as much money to the blacksmith as possible is just to simply try not to get hit and try not to die that's what I try and do and normally you know the prices are not too bad unless you've obviously got hit a lot and died quite a few times as you know I died in the last video so yes I expect to pay a significant amount of money here especially for my newbie character so let's talk to blacksmith, uh, blacksmith Abramo here and if we we can repair items individually which will cost us less uh, but I'm just gonna go and repair the whole lot because even though I haven't got a lot of money I know that I should be able to uh, just about afford all the repair costs so repair all items and it's actually four yeah 428 gold which is actually quite a bit considering that I probably only got about 1200 gold let's actually have no let's not actually have a look but so yeah let's just repair and there we go you get a prize for that as well an achievement basically and that's it we're back up to a hundred percent so we're all fine to go back into the goblin altar and kick that guy's butt this time hopefully without dying since we got a new pair of pants on Anyway, I will see you amigos there at the battle. See you later. Hello there, amigos. As I said, we are back in the Goblin Altar. And we're pretty close to the boss, which I'm going to give another shot. Hopefully this time without dying. Barrels! At least I can recover my life here if I need to, but we've only got a few more enemies in the way. And then we'll be at the bus. Whoa! That's it. Dodge. Take that! I'm gonna get surrounded here. Let's shoot them to the face! Yeah! Knockout. Let's do a side attack. 
That didn't quite work out, but oh well. Ooh, treasure. Kick. Uh, let's pick that up because this sometimes drops good stuff. Can we break this? We can, but there's nothing in here. Pointless. And the doors for the boss is open. Boss music has started. Die! That was pretty cool. I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing what is next after this. I know I am. Well, that's hopefully if I don't get killed. And I would like to say thank you to all the people who have watched the C9 video so far. Hopefully get some comments in. him out the way. I would also like to thank somebody, he's already uh, made a comment. In Kinja, I believe the name is, um, he says, uh, hey Dark, I have a channel, I'm working pretty hard on it and if you would come and check it out, thank you. So by the looks of it, he's also uh, uploaded some videos and stuff uh, I will take a look I would like to thank you for obviously commenting wow I just got hit by the boss damn it quite a few times that's not good not a good start not a good start wow 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 this guy needs to die. There we go, he's getting on my nerves. And I need to take out... Wow, that was very close. I want to take this guy out. Hard attack there. I want to take these other little helpers out before they come and ruin my game. I need to move from here. Because that guy's going to throw me his attack in a minute. Yep, like that. He can't reach me up here, so that's fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I've got to move. Whoa. Okay, he's got another little friend with him. Kai, he's still got a lot of life left. Oh my god. That was close. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Now would have been a good time to hit him hard like that. Oh my dodge wall! That was close. Yeah, you do what. Oh damn, you do what you need to do. I want to shield you to the face. Stop moving about like that. Oh, and that also. And a kick, and a kick. Ah, oh, the kick done hardly any damage. Kick him. Damn it. Whoa! All right, still, still doing, still doing quite well for life. Uh, is about halfway. I'm about 80%, I would say. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's just try and not get hit. Wow, dude, die! Whoa! Whoa! Nah, that's too dangerous to keep doing that. <laughs> He's gonna hit me with his uh, stupid stuff. Smack. That's it, that's it. And a side. Oh, the side one missed him, damn it. I wanna try and hit him again. Oh. Oh, no, that's, that's not good. That's not good. I wanna hit him with a side attack. 
like that. Except when he's not on the floor, but we'll kick his butt in. <laughs> Wall dodge! Okay. Down. And he's almost dead. Let's not get too excited here. Let's side attack him. And now shield him. And yes. Yes, indeed. We got him this time, guys. And the 10%... Experience bonus for next time. That's pretty good. Let's see if we get. Yeah, we got nothing. Uh, and a hammer, which is no good to us, but I can sell it. Okay, that's this boss this time beaten without any deaths. So, on to the next area, which will be kind of interesting. Uh, like I said, Akinja, thank you for your comments. I will check out your channel. Uh, hopefully you'd have some C9 videos, I'm all up for support here of C9, um, and I will see you guys on the next stage.